Hi guys, this is RC from Mavi Pi and today we will learn how to do the CSV feature in the directory segment. Here you add a category and uh, I have added category 1 and then you can add a subcategory. I have added category 2 and in that I add a listing. I can also upload a CSV file instead of doing all this manually. Now when I want to download a sample file I have to click here and a uh, sample CSV file gets downloaded. I have to ensure that I do not remove any column in the CSV file. I also have to insert the latitude and longitude and the address will only get listed if I do that. I can also add multiple values in the columns by separating them with a hyphen. So uh, we'll come, that, that come to all those details later. Now there's also a tutorial for longitude and latitude which you can check here how to find that for a particular address. Now the CSV file looks like this and you have a category name and then the category icon and the sorting order for the category, uh, what order would you prefer and then the sorting for the directory, the category status whether this category is active or inactive so it will be 1 or 0 depending on activity then uh, you have to basically see where these fields are getting added. So I will take you and show you how we usually add a listing in uh, the directory. So when I add a listing here, this is what the format looks like, where I have a heading, summary, a body, uh, and that's exactly what I put in the CSV file here, the heading, the summary, the body. Then I can change the labels here and call it something else. So here it is email, I can call it anything that I like. And then I input a value for these labels here. Similarly for the URL, I can add more of them here. And I basically have to separate the various values with the help of a hyphen. So uh, here in the URL also I have the label and the value. So the label and the value here. For call now again, the label and the value here. I can have multiple numbers separated by a hyphen. I can add more and then the address. So the label and the value there. And for the address, like I said, the latitude and longitude is very important if I want it to be displayed on a map. Now you have a separate tutorial to figure out how to find the latitude and longitude for a particular address, but you have to ensure that this field is filled in. Now for make a reservation, again you have a label here that you can change and then put in the open table URL there. There, you've given you an example there. And then the media type. Now for every listing, there is a variety of media that you can add here when you go to add media. You can add images, you can add the YouTube URL or you can add audio. So for images, you're supposed to give the path here and also similarly for the videos on YouTube and in other places, you're supposed to give the path here. Now for image, that's the path. If I give a custom list, then that's the path that I give there. Similarly for sound and for RSS, I put in the values in the relevant fields to complete the CSV. So for RSS here, I put in the value here. Now once I've done all this, I basically have to upload the CSV file. After having added all these values, I have to ensure I have not deleted any field and all the compulsory fields have been input. So I go and I simply upload the CSV file. There. Once I've done that, my directory gets uploaded to the relevant values.